All right, welcome to the Dry Slab. We're gonna do a walk around video and talk about this uh, very original bus. There's been some great conversation so far. One of the things I like about bringing a trailer is the experts can weigh in because I can't know everything about everything and that's guaranteed. Um, but I, I have spent some time with the, the bus and we're gonna get it up in the air. We're gonna look at a bunch of different things. And it's really interesting to discover one bit of damage we found in the back from before and I just want to highlight and show some things. This isn't going to be like a really beautiful video because that's not what it's for. We're not trying to win any awards with our videography. We're just trying to get you educated and my son's laughing at me. We're trying to get you educated on what the bus is so you can make a good decision for yourself. So this is for the bidders. I mean everybody but it's for the bidders mostly. I just want to make sure that they understand what they're buying. So I'm going to start out with, I've, I've run through and i posted paint meter pictures, found some a little heavy uh, values down in here. There's no rust on this car anywhere that I can find. You know, everything opens and closes and does what it's supposed to do. Here's the, the NOS box that that screen was in. I don't know if it's actually for that, but I thought that was pretty cool. And then we do have this wacky crazy amount of books and records that are pretty fun so all the service records and such and then we showed the cool tool kit in the pictures so kind of like that this year uh, probably probably the crescent wrench in there doesn't belong maybe some other pieces but yeah vintage tools Alright, somebody made a comment about the seat covers not being original. Yeah, all you other experts can weigh in on that. I mean, to me, the texture here of this door and the side of the seat looks pretty consistent with being original, but I'm not going to, I'm not the expert, so I'm not going to weigh in on that. Um, obviously, the automatic is kind of rare, and some people love it, some people hate it. And then there's a little switch down here that shows that's where you turn the air conditioner on so that's the i think dealer installed air conditioner it's got an antenna booster i didn't highlight that but this antenna booster is pretty cool for the radio <laughs> um and then uh get the original data plate here i love this original sticker open and close so we know how to we know which way to move the handle a little bit of misinformation here, so I'm not going to show that. This is not a 2000 cc motor, so this is uh, Molly had this in the in the van, uh, but that's not actually accurate. So it's a 1700. You know, this little, little table opens up. It's got a little little spot here where it's shrunk, and she put a piece of masking tape over there. Somebody did. That's kind of cool. And then this is your fridge, and you got some appropriate colored. <laughs> table toilets. Uh, but everything's very nice uh, in condition, you know, this thing's not broke and get the little push button to hold this and we have the <laughs> get a little call press. Probably won't be using these. <laughs> and then the sink uh, here and this folds back and it's got the vent and you know that this I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Climb up in there. All right, so basically, this goes up and out. And then, if you can see in here, this is a little tricky. This is the cot for the youngster. <laughs> Not everybody would necessarily want to sleep up there. All right, so let's see. And then all of these screens, so go back outside, DOS. Don't fall, please. So all of these screens are, the zippers are all good. Cloth or the zipper or anything. And I'll put the 
this back down. So when I, I might be doing this wrong, but I'm you know, learning. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these. And then I think the idea is you gotta pull this in on either side so you don't close the camper top in on top of the fabric. I think I got it. And then there's little rubber things that are all there and in place that hold that in place when you're going down the road. All right, I got one. I'm good. And the closet and the window works beautifully. Right here. So no issues with that on either side. North Carolina State Motor Club. That's the second owner. All right, I'm gonna give this a swing. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so I had the wheels stripped. They were painted gray and the hubcaps were gray, so I replaced the hubcaps, hubcaps with new replacements and chrome, and then these are uh, powder coated white. Uh, this is the area that if you look in here Dawson, there's like some chip paint in there so this i think was damaged you got hit or something and so inside here you can see how this is this is not as it would have been from the factory nice fresh stamped steel you can see there's been some bondo work in here so this was bumped right here um probably into this space this is all okay so we still got our original sticker there for the gas cover and you guys were kind enough to explain to me what this screen is for so there it is in place which that worked out very nice and, uh, engine down here pretty grimy all this foam like if i if i just push this foam it just crumbles right so when you guys whoever buys this and you're going to service that motor you're going to replace that foam here's the york style compressor and here's the original um, serial number of the van. And I'll, when we go underneath the car, I'll get a light. Now, this is a little surprise down here. You might not have noticed this, but we got a little surprise. I put a little picture up the other day of some trophies that were in a device. And it attaches to the back of a bus. So we're going to take pictures of that today and show it to you. It's a really, really cool German-built two-wheel utility trailer that goes with the bus. So that's just a bonus. You can see the, this material, whatever this is. I'm missing one little thing here, but everything else is super nice. No rust on the bottom of this. The curtains are still pretty nice. Even the straps. Like our original. I don't even want to pull it loose. I don't want to mess anything up, but they're not faded out. The straps are okay. You know, those are things that probably would often be damaged. Go. Automatic. All right, uh, a couple of dings. There's a ding right here. A uh, little flaw right there. Uh, this is original paint. There's areas where we found where there's been touch up. Like here's a touch up right here. This is your 110 plug in. There's a couple dings and chips right there. Uh, all the original four, you're going to see later, the four factory jack mounts are beautiful. No issues. And driver's compartment. And all the proper stuff is there. You know, the. Vinyl door cards are nice. Got a little fire extinguisher holder here. I don't know where the fire extinguisher is. Got a little temperature period magnetic temperature gauge. It's just the fun. Yeah, that, that's just kind of fun. The headliner is super nice. Uh, when we get it down on the ground, I'm going to start it so you can hear what it sounds like. Wing windows are good. And lastly, uh, I started to take this off and I thought it's old so I don't know what's underneath there for a tire uh, I, I, this is like a piece that's on I don't know so whoever buys it you can take the risk but I started to like peel it 
and it just felt like I might break it, so I thought, I'm going to leave it alone. It's just it's too nice condition. And Molly had put several covers on top of it, but I don't see and can't find any chips in the windshield. And I'm looking for these, the side glass, all the glass has the VW uh, blasted print, and this does not, this is FY. So I presume that little FY, I presume this is probably a replacement windshield. So, okay, uh, we're going up, we're gonna raise it up in the air. I'll get a light and we're gonna go underneath. So keep rolling, Dawson. <laughs> reflection in the door you can really see the original textured finish of the door that's original paint I do know that this has been repainted in this area you see a little little cracking in the paint down low but there's no rust but you can definitely see this has been touched up in here and it blends into the front so but here's the stuff I love like I love these original spot welds you know there's nowhere in the vehicle that's damaged so let me grab a light hang on a second Cool. If that's showing up good, this is original Cosmoline that was sprayed on by the factory. And so we have this debate all of the time in our dry ice community. If it's put on at the factory, should you take it off? And, and the, you know, the, the purists will say, no, don't touch it, leave it alone. It protected the car this long, don't mess with it. Some of these cars, the arguments, there's, there's no perfect answer. It's the answer that's right for you. So some people decide, hey, this, is, this car's moved into collector car status. I'm never gonna use it. I'm always gonna enjoy it and play with it in perfect weather. And I want it on the lift looking pretty, so they will decide to take that off. We can certainly execute that here. And un what's underneath all of this on this car is spectacular. Like it's gorgeous under there. But I completely respect the buyer or owner that decides, hey, I, I wanna leave it on there, no mm -hmm. problem. That's why we didn't take it off. A couple of reasons, right? So when you look at the car and you have the eye for it and you know you can see all these original parts and pieces, this is the stuff that, like especially in here, this dark kind of caramel looking stuff is just, that's what we're after when we're looking for originality. You know, there's no bends or dings or dents anywhere. We got a little oil seepage from the steering box. But the boots are original and nice. I mean, I don't think they've been replaced. It's 100,000 miles. This car lived a charmed life without a doubt. And as you move back, you're going to see this really cool. Let's see. Okay. Condenser. This is the condenser for the air conditioner. And it's got two fans on there that don't, they don't turn on. So all that system is going to need service. But all of these jack points under here, on all four corners are super nice. None of them are tore up. There's no damage on these cross pieces. You can look down on the floor here, Dawson. We've got multiple leaks. This has been sitting here for a week. Here, 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 here. Transmission, you know. So we got leaks on the floor. It's obvious to see that it's all wet under here. So this is a purely a candidate for reseal. But when you look at these original covers, you know, these are these are just so rare that they're in place. You just don't see that very often. Uh, everything back here is what you'd expect for a 100,000 mile Volkswagen bus. So this is definitely, it was an actual mile title with 99,000 some odd miles on it. It said actual miles on the title. When it was transferred, because it's now rolled over 99, it, it, is, it exceeded its mechanical limits. So it's not TMU, not true miles unknown. 
it's a hundred thousand and three or four hundred miles on the on the bus. So it, it spent most of its time in North Carolina. But the underside of the car, to me, I'm geeky about that kind of stuff, and I just think it's really, really special, and it's a cool bus. I'm not trying to oversell it. Uh, I'm just trying to connect to the people that might appreciate that, because it is rare to find something that's not been hurt. So uh, we're gonna put this thing down on the ground. We're gonna pull the arms out from underneath, and I'm gonna fire it up and let you hear the squeaky brakes, and, um, and then we'll wait to hear what you had to say about it and anything you wanna know. So let me move this light. I hadn't started this for about a week. Okay, go back up a little. Now. I get a lot of comments about how fast my lift is and how tall it is. It definitely was a good choice. I'm glad I did. said in the description it starts runs moves and stops well enough to load and drive through the parking lot I would not want anybody to try to drive this across town probably could get away with it I just don't think it's safe it hasn't it hasn't it needs a safety inspection so let's see what happens come on up here closer Dawson well actually this this is a, an official cold start video so go back there and let's Let's see what the exhaust pipe looks like when I fire it up. So, sorry if I missed something that's like really important to you, but um, uh, I did check these windows, they work, and then, you know what's kind of interesting, come over here, one more last thing, look, look in here, Doss, so, so this, this is how this thing, the other side should look like this, and you can kind of study it and see how the line's a little crisper here on this side. sound and see it's almost like it's a bubble here there's no crisp line right there the body line is missing they like plowed right through it so that's the only thing that's been messed with on the on the car so 
All right, so that's our wackadoodle, um, bring a trailer, presentation, walk around, start, cold start, etc., etc. And um, I don't know, we might even just run up and down the parking lot with this. You see it actually does go more than two mile an hour. So thanks everybody, appreciate it.